All right. Hey, this is Mark Roberts with Journeyman Fitness. I'm an online fitness and nutrition coach. I help busy guys over 40 who are executives and super stressed out, super busy, help them transform their bodies. I have a four uh, part process that I lead my clients through. And most of the guys who go through this process and start learning about it are the most interested in my inverse diet uh, protocol. And so what I want to do is I want to show you that protocol quickly. Uh, so you get an idea of it. Maybe it's interesting to you, but also you can start to think of how could this fit with me? And you can see like, even when I'm busy, even when I'm stressed, even when I'm kind of got my hands in a bunch of different projects at work, uh, this is going to help me get to my best results, uh, both in the short term and the long term. So my four part process uh, starts off and I'm going to go through it really quickly at four, uh, four part or four pillar system. Uh, it starts off with an assessment. Uh, I call it my airplane assessment. I'm not going to get into exactly what's in it, but essentially you are unique. I don't want to just kind of give you a template diet or template workout plan or kind of give you just the uh, rote advice. We got to figure out where you're starting from. So we do this assessment. Mm -hmm. Then with the inverse diet, what I can do is I can actually change just a few things and get you the best results without having to kind of throw the kitchen sink. I have a feedback loop. I call it, it this is a proprietary uh, feedback loop called cards. And I'm not going to go into it right now in this quick little video. Uh, and then obviously you want to keep all of those results. Like let's say you lose 10% of your weight, right? So if you start off your 300 pounds, lose 30 pounds in, in 12 weeks, right? Which is who would love to see that. Uh, or you start at 200 pounds and you lose 20 pounds or whatever. I, wouldn't it be great to lose that 20 pounds and then not have to worry about regaining it? Well, we have a whole protocol called future casting. Anyways, let's get to the inverse diet. So first off, we do this assessment and we figure out where you're starting from. I'm not going to go into all the assessment part, but once we figure out where you're starting from, what you're the most sensitive to, what we can do is we can really kind of uh, kind of press some levers uh, to the things that are going to make the biggest change and then get you some progress. Why this is different is most plans, what they'll do is they start you off um, with kind of moderate cuts to your eating, uh, moderate amounts of fitness, because again, they haven't done the assessment yet. So they're kind of guessing, right? They're just saying, hey, listen, trust me and trust this diet, trust this protocol, whether it's paleo or carnivore or keto or, you know. There's not been this assessment. They're just saying, hey, trust the process. You'll see it, blah, blah, blah. And I kind of want to, I kind of want to uh, think, but essentially what happens is they end up putting you into a terrible spot. Let me draw here. So let's say that, first off, everybody has a level called their maintenance calories. And basically, this is an amount of calories that if you eat, Less than this, you're going to lose weight. If you eat more than this, you're going to gain weight. And for a lot of people, first off, they don't know what that level is because they've never, you know, they've never had to pay attention to it. Um, but they've pro probably what's happening is they're probably eating just slightly above it because you, you may have noticed, like, hey, listen, I've been putting five pounds on every single year for the last couple of years. And now I just feel like I need a big change. Well, you're probably eating slightly above the maintenance on average, and you just have no idea. Now, most diets at this point, they'll say, okay, well, you're probably eating a little bit too much. Let's cut your calories, right? And then just kind of let that ride for a while um, and just see how this goes, right? Well, this is great until uh, when you start eating less food, you start to move less and you become a smaller individual. So what happens is, is eventually that, uh, those negative calories stop helping you lose weight as fast as you did at the beginning. So they're like, okay, well, if you're not losing weight that fast, let's cut some more calories and let that ride for a little bit. Again, there's nothing wrong with this, but you'll see how this ends up, All right? You stop losing weight, you plateau. All right, let's make another cut. And then maybe in the last two weeks, okay, we're going to make another, we're going to make another um, cut just to really kind of finalize the thing. Well, we get to the end of our 12-week program, okay? And so now, at this point, where are you? Well, you're on this diet. 
You're eating the least amount of food you've eaten in this whole program. You're probably trying to work out as, as much as you possibly can to lose this weight. Your stress is high. Your fatigue is high. Your diet fatigue is high. You're like, I, I don't want to do this diet anymore. I don't care how much weight I've lost. And, um, and you're at this point at the end of the 12 weeks where the coach is going, hey, listen, it's the end of the 12 weeks. What do you want to do? If you don't want to continue with this guy, there's no there's no setup for what's next. There's no kind of transition into the next thing, which again, many people do a 12 week diet and then just kind of go off. And most of the time when they kind of go off and they don't have anything here, they just go back to their old habits to compensate. It's like, man, I just want to get away from this diet. I feel so terrible. And so now they go back and they're like, I'm eating like I did back in the day, and I'm probably eating a little bit more to compensate for all this dieting. And so the weight comes back, and you're probably going to gain a few extra pounds because, again, you're overcompensating. Now, how do we fix that? How do we change this process? Right? Because at the end of this, you're like, I, I lose the weight, then I gain the weight back. I lose the weight, I gain the weight back. How do I fix this? Well, with the inverse diet, what we can do is we can, again, flip this on its head. Now, we start off with this assessment. You're still, at the beginning, you're still kind of eating a little bit too much on average. But at the beginning, what's what, what's happening at the beginning? Your motivation to make change, the highest, right? Your stress levels are the lowest. And your sensitivity to change is also kind of at its max. So what we can do is we can capitalize here and we can say, okay, let's make the biggest change right off the bat. Now, obviously, this is not to scale. This is just to kind of illustrate the point. I'm not saying, hey, listen, hey, let's eat zero calories. I just want to kind of show the difference here. But we can drop the amount of food here. We can introduce some more movement into your day. And I'm not going to get into specifics here. And then we can kind of hold that for a little bit of time, a week or two, and see how your body responds. Now, under this maintenance line, you're going to start losing weight. Okay. But as you eat less and you move more, the stress and the fatigue starts to build up, right? Just like we saw with the other. What do we do? Well, the only way to get rid of that fatigue and that stress and that diet fatigue is to eat more food. And so what we're going to do is we're going to gradually reintroduce more and more food into your diet. Okay. Now, the thing is, we're still under that maintenance line. You're still losing weight. You're just adding some more calories. And we can be, you know, pretty frequent with the calorie adding back on. You know, we don't have to go, we don't have to wait until, you know, you plateau or whatever, right? We can still add calories at regular intervals as long as your body is kind of responding in a positive manner. And you're still under this maintenance line. So you're still losing weight, but you're eating more and more calories. You know, this could be, this could be 100 calories. This could be 150 calories. But as you start to notice, hey, listen, we're starting to manage our stress. We're starting to manage our fatigue. It's getting easier and easier and easier towards the end of this. And yet I am leaner than I have been uh, when I started. And so now what we can do is towards the end of this 12 weeks, and again, this is not a scale, it's just kind of show you what's going on, is you are eating pretty close to where you were when you started. Obviously, you're not overeating. But at the end of this 12 weeks, now your motivation is still relatively high. Your stress is still managed. Your diet fatigue is way less, right? Because we're adding back in foods. Um, and then your kind of longer term plans, you know, even if you started like the the pull of old habits isn't as strong because you don't have as much of a gap to bridge. Okay. So from here, what could you do? Well, you could go back to, uh, you could take this on by yourself, which I, again, if you've never done this kind of thing before, I always recommend long-term planning. Uh, you could say, Hey, listen, I'm just going to go into maintenance and take a couple of weeks off and just try to not gain any weight. Maybe I want to lose some more weight. You know, you could spend a few weeks of maintenance and then go right back into another one of these inverse diets. Or maybe you understand, hey, listen, I got really lean. I'm 30 pounds down and I realize I need some more muscle. So I want to get into a muscle muscle gain phase and then we can totally switch it into something 
that's there. Anyways, that's long-term planning, but that is the inverse diet. That's that's what we can do to capitalize on all the great stuff at the beginning and then manage that fatigue, stress, and motivation throughout it and have you get the transformation that you're looking for. And then at the end, understand, I can keep this progress because I'm just in a better spot at the end of these 12 weeks. Now, if you're interested in learning how exactly this would work for you, well, I'd love to chat on a phone call, right? Or at least a message. So you could send me a message and say, Mark, tell me more about inverse diet. Basically, if you if you type in inverse diet, I'll know exactly what you're talking about. Um, if you want to set up a phone call, you can also, uh, we could find a time that works for your schedule and we can hop onto a Zoom call or a phone call for 20, 30 minutes and kind of get started. So hopefully this video was valuable and I uh, am more than happy to dive deeper into this and get more specific into your schedule and to your obstacles and then also your goals and how I can help kind of guide you through that. Even though you're super busy, you got a lot of responsibility and we can't really, uh, you know, we've got to work around all that stuff. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, have a great day.